Do you imagine being a police officer and having to find a mimic among the people in the small town that you've known for quite a while? That would be terrifying. Hello everyone, this is Rin from Super Cat Punch and welcome to Mimic. A game where I think we are a cop and we gotta find a mimic and a town of people. Alright, uh, I should investigate the crime scene. I should also try to not, like, hit people here. <laughs> I'm trying to park, I'm sorry. Oh, can I just drive away? Bye! We don't need to investigate the crime scene, it's fine. <laughs> well, now that you know there's a redeem today. That was an excellent time to go over today's comment pottery as we slide in here for gas, and uh, there is no gas, just kidding. Oh, there's a gas thing, okay. But yeah, that's like the, clap, the, the lottery, but with pause. Check the description for more details on that. But on a uh, glass of water. Siege neutral said. If the power goes out as I am going to bed back and wait until morning, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I agree with you for the most part. Oh, what's this? A motel. <laughs> Here we are. I'm probably not supposed to drive this far, but that's fine. I want to explore. If you give me the option. What is going on over there? If you give me the option, I am going to explore. You know? Oh, hey! That's nice, there are other cars on the road. I wonder if it just loops back around. Can I hit a car? Oops. Anyway, uh, I agree with you for the most part. <laughs> Aside from, like, you know, making sure that the important stuff doesn't spoil first because the power went off, I remember when I... when I used to live in, like, you know, hurricane country, when the storms knocked out the power, I'd have to... haul the old generator. Okay, let's pull over here, I guess. Hi. Can I leave my vehicle? How do I leave? Take the key out, click the computer, click escape, click C space for walking stuff. Oh! It was E, apparently. You alright, bud? So, what have we got here? An abandoned car, a lake of blood, and no body. And no valuables are missing. So, probably a mimic doing its work? Oh, I guess that's a normal thing here. Yes, I think that's obvious. The car was smoking when I arrived here. I think the victim was driving up this road and had to stop because the engine had an issue. The victim called roadside assistance while a mimic was hiding behind the bush. That thing was probably one of the big ones. There's a huge footprint in front of the car. She didn't have a chance. How old is the victim? 37 years old, according to her ID. Is this area known for mimic activity? No, not at all, but it seems like they're expanding their territory. I bet he's still close, probably somewhere in the woods digesting her. Sent to take care of it? Yes, that's why I'm here. I'm tasked with finding and neutralizing it. I'll drive around the area and ask if someone has seen something suspicious. Sounds like a plan. You have a map of the area on your laptop, right? Yes, I have a map. Sounds good. If you want, you can take a look at the crime scene yourself in case I missed anything. Will do. See you back at the station. Stay safe. Thank you. A lot of blood, but not a single piece of flesh. The handbag of the victim, nothing was stolen. Cigarette is still warm. Huge footprint. Oh, that is a really big footprint. The victim's car. Staying inside would have been safer. Probably, but if it was that big, I think it could have just yoinked her out of the car, you know? So, can I go into said woods? But yeah, when the power would go out, I'd have to... <laughs> I'd have to grab the old generator out and uh, drag the wires to, like, the fridge. Here's something. To the fridge and the freezer. <laughs> There was a really bad hurricane, and the power was out for like two weeks. I think I'm hearing cars. Hmm. 
You know, I don't think I'm supposed to come out here, but I have the option, so... You hear the darndest things when you walk out into the wilderness. But yeah, the power was out for two weeks because of this hurricane, and that was... that was an experience. Had to keep refilling the generator, it stopped working at one point, it just... It was... it was an ordeal. I was gonna be like, I saw something, but it's... It's loading. Um, yeah, I don't really think I'm supposed to be out here. I don't think there's... It's intended for anything to actually be out here. I think I just gotta go... Asking around. I feel like it is watching from somewhere. <laughs> Do you guys ever feel like you're being watched? Like, when I get it, it's... Like, like that feeling that kind of creeps up the back of your neck. Okay, where is my car? I think it's this way. I think it's- Stop it! I'm sorry! <laughs> I get lost easy, okay? Yeah, I think it's this way. I really- I really wandered, didn't I? I really wandered a bit. But when I get it, it's usually in- In two varying degrees, like- like a tickle? Where I know it's probably one of my cats, or something. Or it's really, really, really strong, and it makes my heart rate spike. And I have to check it out, like, immediately. I, I don't think... I remember looking back into this a while back, and I don't think there's... Is this my car? Yes. I don't think there's, like, a for sure scientific reason for the feeling of being watched or having a sixth sense or whatever you want to call it, but I think it's theorized that humans evolved to be sensitive to gazes, like we have, like, a, a neural network or something completely dedicated to sensing and processing the gazes of others. Which is very interesting to think about. Either way, it's very useful. <laughs> it has definitely served me well on more than one occasion, so I would call that a win. Alright, let's stop here. Hello, a few hours ago we received an anonymous call from someone reporting an abandoned car with a lot of blood next to it. You know what that means. Investigate the crime scene. After that, drive around the area, use your map, talk to people and ask if they've seen anything weird. If you encounter a mimic, neutralize it with your firearm. Do not get cornered. Mimics are highly trained predators. Good luck. Alright, so we are at the gas station. I guess we'll just kinda go around, so I'll go to the motel next, and the camping spot, and the cabin, then the farm, I guess, and then the trailer park. Let's uh, go. Oh, there's a beware of mimics. If you see anyone who is pretending, contact law enforcement immediately. Signs that you're dealing with a mimic. Unnaturally long limbs, funny walk, never blink, sometimes flesh-colored skins. To survive, keep calm, contact the police, gain distance, and do not expose meat. Okay. Hello. Can I touch any of the things in the store? I gotta know. Can't even get some water. Sucrus flakes. Vegan milky. What can I do for you, sir? There was a mimic attack just down the road. Oh, that's bad for bu- <laughs> It's bad for business. Do you know anything that could help me with the search? I haven't noticed anything weird so far. Everything is just as always. You're not blinking, are you? I swear if your arms are two centimeters too long? I, I don't think the police officer blinked either, so I, I don't think that's a very good indicator for me. Really? Nothing at all? <laughs> well, there are these weird sounds coming from nowhere sometimes. <laughs> Only thing I know is that you should be very careful. Nowadays, they're extremely good at pretending to be human. And they're more dangerous than ever. People say they're evolving and learning from humans. Thanks, but that's information that's already known to us. Anyway, thanks. Don't you want to buy something to fill up your car, sir? I'm good, thanks. Oh. Good luck with the search, officer. Thank you. I like that you're able to drive, this is nice. And a lot of these old, like, VHS-style, um, short horror games, you're, you're not able to drive. I think it's a nice change of pace, you know? Ah, uh, this does not look like... Okay, well... I have found my way to the trailer park, so I guess we're going this way. <laughs> That's fine.
I'm not talking with the cops. I just want to ask a few questions. As I said, I'm not talking with the cops. Okay. What do you want? Easy there, pal. I'm just here to ask a few questions. People don't like cops around here. Make it quick. I'm here for an investigation. A mimic was active in the area around the nearby gas station. That's where I get my beer. Oh, too expensive anyway. Forget that place. Do you know anything that would be useful to me? No. I'm drinking all day. Nothing else to do around here. People here don't believe the official narrative. They say the government uses them to keep the population down. They don't like us common folk. You use them to get rid of us. This is not true, otherwise we wouldn't try to neutralize them. So have you noticed anything odd in the last days? No, not at all. Everything is as always. Try your luck somewhere else, cop. Good night, sir. Make sure there's not, like, somebody hiding over here. Someone else that I can talk to. Can I go on any of the trailers? No, okay. Just look at this car... Okay. And while there might not be anything in the wilderness, or maybe there is for me to find, I do like that you have the option of just kind of like... <laughs> YOLOing out into the forest. Like it's a good idea or something. Okay, I do not want to hit these people. I say as I almost hit them, I'm sorry. Perhaps I should not have the ability to drive in this game. <laughs> uh... You, uh... You doing alright? I mean, his limbs don't look too long, right? That's That's about normal, I think. What's up, pal? Your car broke down? No, the engine just got a bit too hot. I'm waiting for it to cool down before driving off. What do you need, officer? We have reports that there could be a mimic around the area. Do you know anything helpful? Yes, it's me. Very funny. You know that stupid jokes like these can land you in jail. <laughs> Sorry, officer, it's a bad joke. I'll let you get away this time. I have to continue my search now. Stay safe, officer, and good luck with your search. Yeah, I don't really think you should say stuff like that. I thought he was gone for a second. I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh no. Okay, is it another left? Yes, it's another left. So I need to be on the lookout for something on the left here. Like this left. Mostly on the wrong side of the road, but that's fine. <laughs> I mean, I wonder where it would be most likely to be. I mean, it's it's probably just in the woods somewhere. So I don't see why we wouldn't just kind of go out into the woods, right? Alright, this should be the farm. Let's see if anyone's seen anything. Hello? I thought that was just a disembodied pair of legs. <laughs> I'm glad that it was not. I'm not seeing anybody... ...yet. Let's try to go to the main farmhouse, I guess? There's nothing over there. Oh, hey! May I help you, officer? Do you just, like, hang out in front of your door in case someone approaches it at night? <laughs> oh, you scared the heck out of me! Are you the owner of this farm? Yes, this is my property, sir. I'm here because we have reports of a mimic activity in this area. Do you know anything that could help me out? Let me think for a second. Not really, I haven't noticed anything weird. But I also heard rumors about people seeing or hearing them in the woods. I personally don't fear them. I make sure to lock all the doors and I keep my rifle close to me and I just stand here all night. Thank you for your time. 
If you notice anything weird, make sure to forward that information to the police. Have a good night. Good night and stay safe, officer. That was just- that was kind of a weird exchange. I see him? He's gonna like pop up at one of the windows and be like, Why are you still here? <laughs> Can I pull out a firearm? I, I don't think there was like an option. There aren't really options that show me, you know, where- what the controls are. But that's okay. Alright, so I have finished up the farm, which means I need to circle around here and take a left. Alright, back to the main road. It stops so we don't hit anybody. So I really don't want to redo all that. I don't know if you have to do all of it again or. Like, if you know where the Mimic is or whatever, if you can just... <laughs> deal with it. Watch all this be pointless, and I just had to, like, go into the woods where it first attacked the victim and just find it there. But you'd think if that was the case, then... Oh yeah, I would've found something by now. Alright, so the motel is right here. I'm just gonna pull in flawlessly to one of these parking spaces. <laughs> Man, that's, that's straight enough, right? I'm in the parking space. Those are massive parking spaces. Wow. Alright, so there's a guy in here. Can I go into any of the rooms? That wouldn't make much sense, but... I don't think any of the rooms were open. I can't tell if pressing shift actually makes me faster or not. I don't think so. I mean, I do like that, how even if coming up here or like exploring around here is useless, but you're still able to. Like, I can still go up the stairs here and around the building and check all the doors and it just, it kind of makes it more immersive, you know, rather than there being 17 invisible walls. Excuse me, is that... Is that blood on your bell? Hmm? What is that? What, what is that, sir? Is... Is it just the lighting? I mean, I don't think he has, like, blood all over his hands. <laughs> okay, well, let's talk to this guy. May I help you, sir? I'm here because a mimic was active down the road. Do you have anything that could help me? A mimic, you say? Uh, I just hope I never meet one of those things. I myself haven't noticed anything weird, but there is a farm east of here. Maybe they can help you more than I can. You could also follow the road up north. There is an area that's used for camping. Alright, thank you for your time. I'm expecting something to, like, run across the road. Also, that footprint in the beginning seemed like a big boot. We should, I guess, be on the lookout for, like, gigantic feet. <laughs> that would be a pretty, uh... Pretty significant difference between the Mimic and the normal human. Is the massive boot size. I need to slow down to exit the car. Nonsense. Okay, I can knock on the door, it seems. I can't do anything there. Okay, so I think I just have to knock on the door. Hello, is someone in there? What do you want? I'm a police officer. I'm here to investigate a mimic-related incident. Can I talk to you for a second? We can talk, but I'll keep this door closed for my own safety. That's not an issue. <laughs> Especially when you make noises like that. <laughs> Do you know anything that could help me out? No, not me, but there's a homeless guy. Last night he came up to my tent and wanted some change. He said some stuff about hearing screams coming from the woods. I thought he was messing with me or that he was onto something. Anyway, if you want to talk to him, just follow the road eastward. Will do. Thank you for your time. Stay safe. 
Tak go. Got any spare change, officer? Sure, here, take this. Thank you so much. I'm here investigating a mimic report. Do you have anything to help me out? Oh, that's bad. Really bad. I hear screams sometimes. At night. Do you see this road going up there? I think there's a house. And? The screams were coming from there. I think. You should take a look. I guess I'll have to. Thanks, and make sure to stay out of trouble. I will, officer. Okay. I, I guess it's good that I talked to him first, because I guess the screams are coming from the house. <laughs> so does it, like, actually live here as a sophisticated member of society? It's just sneaking out and causing trouble sometimes? Well, the door is open, how convenient. Oh, I am here to potentially perish. Anyone here? I wonder if the mimic's gonna be, like, incredibly obvious. Someone is screaming. Like, oh, I should investigate. I see. My firearm comes out immediately. I was gonna say, I can't tell where it's coming from, but I think it's over here. But yeah, I wonder if it's gonna be, like, super obvious, like, the limbs are gonna be so long. <laughs> I, th I think it's coming from this way, I wish I could go a little faster. I hear you, I'm... I'm going along at a moderate pace. Yeah, it's definitely coming from this way. Okay. I was worried at this point I might be going in the wrong direction, but no. It sounds like it's meant to lure me. Like, that sounds like someone trying to mimic a scream. You know? It doesn't really sound... Is it up in the tree? I don't see it in the tree. Hello? Okay, I hear it over there. I'm trying to keep a wide view here. So it was trying to lure me- I mean, either that or... It killed its victim. Oh! That, uh, that victim being me. Alrighty, it didn't take that long to get back here. You know, I was gonna say- Actually, I'm gonna try it. I wonder if I can take my vehicle into the woods. <laughs> Oh, I can't. Of course you can't. I mean, there's a s enough space between some of these trees to where you can drive. Help me look for it. It's here somewhere. I could have the high ground. Wrong way? Okay. You mean I can't have the high ground? That's like the best choice you could make. You can see more. I should save my ammo for when I need it. Okay. I mean, shooting blindly into the forest isn't a good idea. Alright, I'm gonna keep my back... ...to the high ground. I'm not going the wrong way, I'm taking a strategical approach. It's not the wrong way. <laughs> okay, I'm here. It, it makes it harder to see because of these bushes. 
Which I would suppose is the point, but you know. I don't hear the screaming anymore. I hear it from this direction, but I'm not seeing the monster. My heartbeat is getting louder. Got him! Nice! I kept my back to the invisible wall because that way there's no way for him to actually come from behind me, right? <laughs> oh, that was the end anyway. Okay, so you either kill it or you don't kill it, but it's basically the same thing. You just get to see it dead, I guess. <laughs> I did like this game, though. There was a lot of freedom. You could have just explored if you wanted to. I like that. I like that even if all the doors, you know, especially at like the motel and stuff, it couldn't be explored or all the trailers in the trailer park, you still had the option to like go upstairs, climb the steps to the trailers, you know, stuff like that. There was like a full exploration type thing and I think that gives it more more depth, more option, and I, I like that kind of thing. There were of course invisible walls in the forest, but it, it's it's whatever. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you for your hard work on the game and I hope <laughs> Fine, bye.